Hey everyone, Tony here. Hope you're doing well. Happy Friday. It's Friday, October 12th. I have some very positive news to share with you guys. A lot of things are unfolding behind the scenes. The infrastructure being built out uh, despite what is happening in the market as far as the charts are concerned. Uh, right, We've had a, a sell-off and the prices have been tumbling and uh, we'll see how low they go i think they won't go too low I, as i've stated before the, the manipulation that's going on in the market the folks who are dumping to, to drive the prices down low uh, are not going to get let it go too low because they don't want to lose the confidence of the entire market you know the weak hands a majority of them have already dropped out the hodlers who which is you and i um you know we're holding but if the price of let's say bitcoin was to go to $500 from what it is now. I think a lot of people would, you know, especially if it starts going below 3,000, 2,000, and 1,000, people would quickly start dumping and get out, right? It will almost seem like it is dying. Um, but it will not get to that. Uh, like I said, when we saw the bottom of the market this year around, you know, between 50 to 100 to 6,000, 6, um, and it, they won't let it go too far. So don't worry about these little roller coasters and sell offs and peaks and valleys. Because big things are happening. As I mentioned, the infrastructure is being built out. Big money, Wall Street, corporations, businesses, traditional companies um, are all getting into the market. And I've been sharing a lot of facts with you guys, showing you who's moving where and who's doing what. And the first news I want to share with you, um, Mr. Giancarlo, who's uh, one of our heroes in the crypto space, because he absolutely understands blockchain and cryptocurrencies. If you recall, he has said very positive things about crypto in the past, talking about how he tried to get his kids to invest in stocks, but they didn't care for that. But they were investing in crypto, and he understands the technology and what's to come here. So he had some more positive things to say. And if you recall, the CFTC just, I think within the past two weeks, uh, mentioned that officially that virtual currencies are now considered commodities so they finally on their end gave given clarity we're waiting for the sec to do that and they're dragging their feet but he's moving things along and and on his part of doing his job right so here's what he had to say well here's the headline cftc chair uh giancarlo says institutional investors will help crypto mature and that is absolutely what is going to happen We've seen it in many other markets, the tech stocks of the 90s, the dot-com, right? Um, even um, just as it went from purely tech to internet and different types of uh, related stocks. So, uh, I want, you know, maybe if you guys recall, yesterday I said that, um, you know, the market is so volatile because there's so little money in it. It's so young. But as more and more money come, come, comes into the market, trillions and so forth, uh, we'll see some stabilization. We'll see less volatility. So uh, let me give you guys the information here. An influx of institutional investors to the cryptocurrency markets may help the space mature. U.S. Commodities Futures Trading Commission J Chair J. Christopher Giancarlo said Friday, the regulator discussed the cryptocurrency space and his agency's effort to monitor it with Fox Business saying that in particular, there has been a noticeable increase of institutional investors and traders to the space. As the growth continues, Giancarlo said he expects more maturation of the crypto markets. So let me give you a, a direct quote here. We've still got a long way to go. There is a lot of issues in some of these spot exchanges, a lack of transparency, a lot of conflict of interest, a lack of systems and safeguards, and that's a concern. But, you know, like all things, it takes time to mature. And with the movement of more institutional investors into the space, I think we'll see that maturation. And this is what I've been trying to hammer home to you guys, that it doesn't matter what the hell is happening with the chart right now. We have to look at facts. We have to look who's making not just what they're saying, but what they're doing. What are the moves being made behind the scenes? And this is why I try to share these facts with you show you the sources and not i'm not pulling anything out of the air i'm not over speculating right um as a, as investors you want to be educated you want to be well versed and know what's happening in your with your investment what's happening in the market likewise you should be doing the same thing if you're investing in stocks right common sense stuff here right um and this guy obviously chair of the cftc 
part of the government, he's on board. We've seen the commissioner of the SEC, Hester Pierce, is also on board. But we need more of these government folks to get on board. So I, I'm, I'm very appreciative of guys like him and, 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 and of course, um, Hester Pierce for the taking a stance and leading the charge on their fronts. Um, but uh, this is a good sign. We have government is on board, and that is super important, right? That means we've crossed the th threshold, as I've said before, of is crypto here to stay or not, or is crypto going to die? We're way beyond that. Now it's just a matter of building out the infrastructure and building the safeguards and the insurance and the th assurance for the institutional money. And that's why everyone is rushing to build custody services. So I hope you understand this. Um, sometimes people get tunnel vision with charts and, and did my coin move this percent and whatever. They don't see the bigger picture of adoption, business um, uh, application, real role utility, uh, you know, setting up for the big money and to to for have to have crypto in 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 our in our daily lives and mainstream and so forth these things are going to play a factor in the growth of the market it is very you can liken it very much to the internet growth right i've talked about how blockchain and crypto is like right now is like 1994 of the internet and there's some ways to grow now i'm not going to i'm not saying that it's going to take that long for its maturity i think it's going to mature much faster because the internet if you think about it um, was a first of its kind as far as from a technological standpoint of a new era and blockchain remember is building right on top of the internet and there's a lot of concepts and principles and, and things are fast moving now so I don't expect us to be <coughs> excuse me guys to be sluggish in, in that way right I think um, people are much more well versed with technology because if you recall um, the internet is what really pushed the adoption of user, usage of computers right Pe before people here and there had computers no one really not every household but as the internet grew oh we need a computer to actually use the internet that's where computers started popping up in people's homes so i hope you understand these concepts and and some of you who may be younger i highly recommend you go watch some documentaries read some books about the growth of the internet the, the dot-com growth and of course the dot-com bubble eventually the crypto market will reach a bubble it is nowhere near a bubble it's very small right now now within a market are there small bubbles sure like you could call the last bull run a small bubble but from a, a you know looking at uh, the markets in hist in the historical run-ups and so forth this is nowhere near a bubble. That's why I always tell you guys, there's so much potential to make money here. If you, you know, if you're holding and you keep holding and be patient because this thing is going to continue to grow. Now, moving on to the next very interesting news, and it's actually very positive. So remember we talked about Adam White leaving Coinbase? Uh, well, he, he's leaving Coinbase to join. Guess who? Backed. That is really really interesting news um now obviously i th i think he's making the right move because backed is going to be a monster we're talking ice the parent company in new york stock exchange starbucks we're talking microsoft we're talking um uh, the bitcoin futures like no other which is uh, the the futures is actually backed by a physical bitcoin it's not it's not just paper like the other etfs right this is going to be big time. And of course, the partnership with Starbucks allows you folks will be able to easily uh, change their crypto to fiat and then buy coffee and Starbucks and all of that through the, through the backed app. So some very big things are going to happen here. And backed is the first of its kind. Global cryptocurrency exchange for institutional investors has custody service also for retail investors. So uh, I, I think a smart move by Adam White here. Um, and this backed is, of course, corporate America. Part of it and of course wall street right so very interesting news let me see if there's any specific call outs um let's see i don't think there's any specific calls call out they, they just know about that this is happening um but there's nothing like you know that we don't know per se but it's coinbase's loss and it's backed gain because now adam white's going to take that knowledge that coinbase you know being the early adopter and then take it to back. And I, I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if you know Adam made that move also because of Coinbase lack of uh, 
you know, movement on adding new coins and being greedy and having bad blood with Ripple and all of that, all these, all this drama when they could have, you know, or even the insider trading, you know, with Roger Ver and Bitcoin Cash. So a lot of drama and nonsense when Coinbase could have been all about business and list, you know, Cardano, XRP, Stellar, all, all the, the top 10 coins, and they could have been breaking in money right now. But I believe they got greedy. They were asking, you know, these coins and these companies to list, to pay millions to list. And, and as well as they have a huge stash of Bitcoin and Ethereum, and they were sitting on it and they thought they would be okay. And now... They're, they are worried, right? We saw the news. Oh, yeah, they're scrambling now. We're, we're, we're looking into adding this amount of coins and blah, blah, blah. Well, they better move, hurry up and move on it because Binance and Bittrex is going to eat their lunch. So very interesting news there. Now, some other major news. Gary Cohn has joined a blockchain startup as an advisor. So you may be wondering, who's Gary Cohn? Gary Cohn, the former chief economic aide to President Donald Trump and president of Goldman Sachs Group Incorporated, will serve as an advisor to blockchain technology startup Spring Labs. So you see the, the herd is coming not only from Wall Street, but from governments, right? We're seeing people are making moves to the crypto industry, um, you know, part of hedge funds, part of exchanges, part of any type of technology that's related to blockchain. And I, I always tell you guys, read between the lines. Why would they do that? Um, especially with a market that's so volatile, right? If, 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 if they were looking at this chart right now, I'd be like, oh my gosh, am I, is this company still going to be in existence in three months? Am I going to even get paid? Right? That That's real. These people, they have to make money. They have to live. Because guys, I, I keep telling you, we are what's about to happen is so huge and a lot of people are missing it because they're so caught up in other things and their emotions about the market not looking at the long term not just the short term the long term guys and that's what they're doing they we this is a new asset class and the big things that are to come beyond just the, the cryptos we have in this market guys what's going to be so huge is asset backed tokens um, it, they'll be issued um, just like crypto in a sense of um, through the blockchain and all of that. And they will actually be backed by something. Remember, we talked about Kevin O'Leary from the Shark Tank, and he was going to do an ICO uh, with a hotel in New York City, which uh, will be asset backed, meaning they would be selling, let's say, 30 percent right of the of the of ownership of the um, hotel. And it will be via token. That is where we're headed. Tokenized economy. So don't miss what's happening here, guys. Um, there's a lot more projects, a lot more things, bigger things to come, and that's why these people are making the moves. So joining Spring Labs is his most high-profile move ever since resigning as National Economic Council Director earlier this year after Trump imposed tariffs on aluminum and steel that Cohn opposed. He is credited with helping to shepherd the Trump administration's tax overhaul project. Uh, closely held Spring Labs wants to use distributed ledger technology to allow lenders and data providers to exchange credit and identity information more efficiently. According to a company press, uh, Spring Labs as, has offices in Los Angeles and Chicago. So big things are ahead. Government, Wall Street, big time finance, CEO, COOs and CFOs, all of that are making the move to crypto. So I hope you don't miss what's happening here and why right uh and and not just what people are saying but what are they doing look at what this guy is doing um now it's on to some other big news uh gemini is li gonna list um uh well it's going to happen tomorrow mornings october 13th saturday october 13th they will be listing litecoin they had bitcoin and ethereum before um and as far as pairings is going to be litecoin usd litecoin uh B btc Litecoin, Ethereum, and they have Zcash as uh, uh, with Litecoin pairing. So they said, we are excited to announce support for Litecoin trading in custody on Gemini beginning Saturday, October 13 at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Del Delta time. You may be able to deposit Litecoin into your Gemini account. Trading will begin Tuesday. Uh, okay, so you'll be able to deposit tomorrow and trading you can start on Tuesday, October 16, so three days later. Uh, Litecoin is the fourth digital asset on Gemini platform, joining Bitcoin, Ether, and Zcash. As a result, we are offering the following blah, blah, blah trading. Okay, so 
It's good to see Gemini at this. Remember, this is owned by the Winklevoss twins. They need to also get their crap together and hurry up and add the other tokens. Like, they're in almost in the same boat as Coinbase. They have a huge stash. The Winklevoss twins have a huge stash of Bitcoin and Ethereum, mostly Bitcoin. So they were banking a lot of that, but the market has evolved, right? People are looking at other projects now. Um, especially with Bitcoin failing as a utility, for, uh, failing it as a currency because of its poor utility, right? High, slow, high cost to use it, um, and, and its scalability is poor. That's why I'm, I always call out the Bitcoin community, stop forking and get Bitcoin on the Lightning Network. Um, and uh, But this is good to see. Hopefully they add some more coins because the more exchanges, the more coins, the better I want as many exchanges up and running with as many coins as possible. Why? Because I'm holding and when that bull run starts, I don't want any roadblocks or issues when all the you know people start FOMOing in. I just want to watch the price go up and then cash out at my respective price points. And I think many of you who are watching this video have the same plan. So I support any exchange to continue to add coins, add coins. I hold Litecoin in my portfolio. You guys have seen my, I've shown the list, XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Stellar, Proppy, uh, Nano, and so forth, um, Sia coin. So uh, I have some Litecoin. I've had, I've made videos about Litecoin saying how pissed off I am at Charlie Lee and the moves he's, he made, he's made. Um, I, I never seen anyone undermine their own project like that before um, with the things he would say. And then of course he sold off and, uh, during like the bear, you know, when the market was crashing, which sent the market even further down. So I'm still holding my Litecoin though, because I believe if you recall, I did my predictions that because Litecoin is so closely joined at the hip, so to speak with Bitcoin, um, it will do well. I don't know who, how many people will adopt it. That's, that's the, you know, to be seen. But it's also one of the potential coins that could be on the Lightning Network along with Bitcoin, right? Also with the working, uh, the the projects of atomic swaps. So if, if Bitcoin just continues to be a store of value because of its poor utility, and then Litecoin could be, you know, the, the silver to Bitcoin's gold, right, so to speak. And people can, atomic using atomic swap, easily swap from Bitcoin to Litecoin, and they can use the Litecoin for transactions. But we have to see how that plays out. These are all just um, ideas. But I do believe, you know, Litecoin has some, like I said, some potential here because it's joined at the hip with Bitcoin. Um, but still, I support more exchanges, adding more exchanges coming up and appearing and starting up and adding more coins. Um, those of you who hold different cryptos, you should as well. Because remember, one of the things that, that cut off the the bull run last year was exchanges had to close their doors. They couldn't handle the volume. Um, now, shout out to XRP Research Center. Um, he, he, this person tweeted um, a lot of information. So if you remember, we talked about the securing uh, securing America's Internet, Internet of Value Coalition, which is a group uh, put together to help steer uh regulations in the way of crypto and and getting approval and getting you know laws and and rules and regulations and so forth in favor of crypto um to to go out to go you know kind of smooth schmooze oh, schmooze schmooze uh politicians to get them to to warm up to crypto well they tweeted the um a uh notice here um a statement excuse me Saying yesterday's uh, about you yesterday's U.S. Senate Banking Committee's hearing on exploring cryptocurrency and blockchain system ecosystems, he says SAIV urges to avoid sitting on the sidelines while while others in, uh, embrace innovation. And this is what is the call of the crypto community and many in the tech space and many like even Giancarlo and Hester Pierce. Let the SEC is holding up so much; they need to hurry up stop dragging your feet provide clarity get the etfs approved let's move forward let's get this market going because a lot of projects a lot of people are moving overseas and they have to uh, really get their act together man um, but here's the full thing here i'm going to um just recall out this line here the saiv coalition looks forward to working with congress and u.s regulators to shape and affect policies 
that keep our nation leading on fintech innovation and cryptocurrency. So we're seeing more and more of these coalitions coming up. And of course, Ripple is part of this co coalition, guys. Um, I, I, I talked about this. If, if you remember, um, here's the article. New Ripple led advocacy advocacy group to pay DC lobbyists in XRP. So um, Ripple is part of this, and uh, you know they're making the push. And this is why the people in the crypto market they hate Ripple so much. But Ripple is doing so much for the crypto market. Look at this: they're lobbying, they're marketing, they are donating money to and and, and building a brand and building a company. They are the first to have a real world adoption, real world utility on a massive scale. X Rapid, right? Rollouts happening this quarter with three financial institutions. And uh, people who are caught up in their religious feelings and battles and whatever can say what they want, but um, they should be really thanking Ripple, honestly, and XRP, and not stop being haters. I'm not saying you have to love Ripple, but at least respect it um, because they are doing really great things uh, for this market. Now, uh, as far as XRP, guys, uh, Cobin Hood. Uh, shout out to XRP Research Center again. Uh, we'll be listing. This is a listing announcement. Cobin Hood announced that from October 19th, its users will be able to deposit, withdraw, and trade XRP and Cobin Hood Exchange. The pairings will be XRP and Bitcoin and XRP and USD uh, Tether trading pairs will be available with zero trading fees. So uh, they tweeted uh, this here on uh, today. So uh, it's going to be October 19th, guys. Um, so we're seeing more and more exchanges listing XRP, adding fiat pairing, also having XRP as a base currency, which is a huge uh, use case. And that is a big part of why Bitcoin has its value. It's being used for trading. It's being used to buy altcoins and so forth, right? Uh, but we know Ripple XRP has a lot of use cases, right? Money transfer um, and cross-border payments and coil micro payments and obviously can be used with because of its speed and low cost can be used within ecosystems and marketplaces. So a lot of big things are happening um, around Ripple and XRP. When all when all of those things come to maturity and we have the actual rollouts, guys, like I've said before, XRP will capture the number two spot. It will fight Bitcoin for the number one spot, and I believe as it comes to that tipping point of having a significant amount of banks moving a significant amount of money, you know, as well as with coil, as well as being a base currency, as well as uh, being via the spring initiative being inserted, inserted into marketplaces and ecosystems such as Omni, um, Scooter Bronze, uh, SB projects, and a whole bunch of others. That's a lot of use cases, a lot of volume. So I believe some big things are ahead and I know some people are probably, Bitcoin maximalists are going to get real pissed off at me saying these things like, you know, XRP being number one, but I'm a factual, logical guy and I see the use cases, I see the facts, I see the transparency in Ripple's end and I see the partnerships and I have to call it like it is. If Bitcoin's on the Lightning Network and it was getting adoption in these different ways, I would say Bitcoin would be number one forever, right? Because it would have the utility right now. People are just buying and hodling it and, like I said, using it for trading and whatever. But um, at the end of the day, as the market matures, where's the utility? Where's the real world adoption? Now, Ripple also published here, guys, um, today, unlocking global liquidity blog, uh, blog net, uh, bottlenecks with RippleNet. And it's related to their video um, and talking about how uh, the usage of XRP the digital asset XRP financial institutions can use XRP and its inherent benefits of ski speed, scalability, and low cost to expand reach into exotic or lower volume corridors without holding new or additional Nostro accounts. XRP becomes an on demand liquidity pool for transaction parties. So, they talk about leveraging XRP, how is that beneficial? So, really great marketing article here piece i think a lot of the information we already know as xrp holders highly recommend you guys read it if you don't um know too much about how uh xrp is going to be used with the banks and all of that uh but they give some examples so just want to let you know uh that this was published because it speaks directly to their usage of xrp because the reason why i share these these items is because there's a lot of fun out there still people idiots saying banks will never use xrp do people just want to use x current even though the facts are like right in front of their face. Um, 
and and uh, so if you see these fudsters just share these like articles like this with them so they can at least educate themselves and not be ignorant idiots um so on to some other interesting news here guys uh bitham uh korea's largest bitcoin exchange sells stake in 350 million dollar deal so bitham um and some people were saying this is negative i don't think it is negative because when I look at it from a business standpoint, this is not negative. So Bitham, currently the largest cr cryptocurrency exchange in South Korea by trading volume, just confirmed it sold more than 38% of its total ownership to a blockchain consortium based in Singapore for 400 billion won or $350 million. So they sold part of the exchange to, and they got money. Who wouldn't want to do that? Um, they sold it to a blockchain consortium and they didn't sell the whole thing. They sold part of it, less than 50%. So they still own the majority stake. Um, BTC Holdings Company, which currently owns 76% of BitThumb's equity, has agreed to sell 50% plus one shares of the 76% ownership of BK Group, a move that would make L Ladder the biggest controller of BitThumb when the transaction is complete. Okay, sorry. I think I, I said... Well, they said 38%. Uh, let's see, BTC. I may have misread that. But at the end of the day, they, the people who own it, they're selling it part of the company and they're getting money and that increases the valuation. So um, I know some people were confused by this and um, they were like, oh, this is bad. I don't see this as bad. And being in the business world, um, I've worked at companies and so forth who... Um, have raised capital and um, you know that gives them more money operation money operating money excuse me and the ability to scale right to grow um, and the owners get more money that's even though they're giving away a share they're, they're still getting upfront cash and they get a higher valuation so uh, I don't think that's a bad thing I actually think that's good that's actually real world real world business practices and the fact that it's happening around the crypto space is a good sign um, Coinfeel, if you guys recall, we were talking about them a couple of weeks ago when they were, you know, hinting at that they were going to be adding, um, it will be live in 69 countries. Our final end to end testing is in progress. The new platform will be live soon in 69 new countries, along with some more exciting news. Stay tuned. This will change the game. So I'm curious what Coinfeel is about to do, guys. Uh, they are Canadian cryptocurrency exchange. So let's see if they're expanding, which countries are expanding. I absolutely believe they'll expand to the United States. And this is where Coinbase is going to be in trouble. Yeah, CoinSquare, the other Canadian crypto exchange, is looking to do the same. They are, they're already expanding to the EU. So Coinfield is up to something. And it looks sounds like it's going to be very big. And, um, you know, they add all the, you know, the top 10 cryptos with, with, with uh, fiat pairing. Oh, boy, is Coinbase going to be in trouble? Um, and that's good. You know, I'm tired of the whole Coinbase hype, honestly, of XRP on Coinbase and this coin on Coinbase and it gets pumped. We're already seeing that that is not um, Coinbase doesn't have that that power anymore. Right. E e Ethereum Classic, um, Xerox and so forth. Sure, there's some small pumps around those things, but it's not like before. And that is a good competition is healthy. More options, not a monopoly, not not some bullies like Coinbase was trying to be. Um, that is good. More competition is healthy for the market. And like I said, more avenues for people to pu uh, purchase crypto when the bull run starts happening. And I just want to sit back, guys. I want to sit back and watch the price go up. I don't want to hear about th this This exchange had to close its doors because it can't handle the volume. I don't think that's going to happen this time around because there's so many exchanges now. And and they're all making moves, expanding. Just look at Bittrex, what they're doing, right? Binance, obviously. So um, I see so much process, um, progress, guys, on the exchange front, on the business front, the corporations, Wall Street, government. Um, it, it may be slower than we expect sometimes, and I know we want it to happen in our timeline, but guys, uh, be patient, be patient. I tried to share the facts here with you guys. Take a logical business approach here. Um, no over speculating. And I hope you understand what it, the moves that are, are happening. And just sit tight, hold on to your crypto. Um, as I've say, stated, the, the, the facts are there to, to prove the data, the trends, incremental growth year over year, higher lows, right? 
this year the low was like i said between 5800 to 6000 around there last year was way different the year before that was different i'm talking about bitcoin now now you can do it for ethereum and and, and xrp and litecoin and so forth so um like i said governments are on board wall street institutional money corporations this thing is global it's it's happening it is happening so i'm super excited the future is bright like i said don't worry what the hell happens with this here guys because as we mature you're going to see less volatility i know it's 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 tough to see the prices go down but like i said don't invest with your emotions look at the facts understand market cycles understand a young market has a lot of volatility understand that fud drives the market down but that's okay that's okay we're going to wait it out and let it mature let the infrastructure build out being oh let the infrastructure uh get set up and and built out and uh let that institutional money come in let him pump it back up the, the and, and then uh the retail investors start fomoing and then it's gonna be some fun times guys so keep holding on make sure you store your crypto safely have your cash out plan have like i said verify all your profiles and so forth on all of the exchanges to uh do all the extra verification to have a higher withdrawal limit do that on multiple exchanges so when the time comes to cash out you can start getting your money faster so um be prepared for that it's always best to be prepared just so you're not scrambling last minute um and just enjoy the ride enjoy the roller coaster right you go up we go down we go up but um you know there's there's going to be some uh big bull runs coming and uh now can anyone predict the exact date no no one has a crystal ball we're not a fortune teller is here we're not a nostradamus here but we look at the facts as i've just shown you and we can make an educated guess you know when potentially i was personally saying i i was expecting a bull run this month into november we have some time to see i i could be wrong right um uh, but we'll see we will see maybe we get some bitcoin etf news from the sec let's see what the launch of backed does for the market let's see who else comes into the market and and then we'll go from there all right guys thank you for uh listening <laughs> this video is a bit long thank you for your support uh if you haven't subscribed yet please do thumbs up this video please don't forget to follow me on facebook and twitter as well we would really appreciate that and i'll talk to you guys later